Time to play with some clay. Now today I'm running, running to the uh, boundary with the clay of real wealth and getting a bid on both mold and casting costs so I can price it. Anyway, I've got it anchored down with two screws onto this board. That's why I have all these boards in the back of my van. And we got deer. <laughs> well, I saw those that family just a couple of days ago. Little babies. I'm on my way. Let's hope everything works out. Well, it's a pretty day today. I mean, it's cloudy. It looks like it might rain, and fall is in the air. It's 61 degrees. It's cool outside. Just getting to the Madison River here. This used to be the old Bozeman Trail. Or part of it. told me that he was driving down along this part of the river and he almost hit a mountain lion coming down for water from the mountains. I've never seen one here but I've seen moose. sign up here just, just about where the bridge is when I come to the bridge that uh, says that man has been going through this area here for over 30,000 years. building this bridge where I'm coming up to right here on this side of the river right where the uh, bridge starts was a uh, excavation of a cabin that had once stood right here and in the fireplace of the cabin was a shoulder blade of a bu buffalo there used to be tons of buffalo out here in the uh, 1800s Now the only buffalo you see is just up ahead here at uh, Ted Turner's ranch where they raise buffalo for meat. Okay, I'm coming into the uh, Madison Valley. It looks like it's got a lot of rain down there in the south. You can't even see the mountains right now. That's uh, Ennis Lake right there that is going out of view now. I love this valley. It's It's got a lot of people living in it, but you, it almost looks like it's pristine because there's very few homes that you can see. And Ennis is uh, still about 16 miles south. This 
Valley used to be a gathering place for all the tribes. They, uh, all the uh, western tribes, uh, they would come here and for a period they would all be hunt under a truce where they wouldn't fight each other or battle each other, each other because getting food for the winter was extremely important for everybody. And uh, the buffalo roamed in this valley at one time. They don't now, of course, but uh, about 30 years ago, I lived up uh, near the base of one of the mountains, and I was hiking around the uh, plateau, and I found the shell of an old uh, buffalo horn. And considering the buffalo were gone from here in the 1860s, that had to have been a real old buffalo horn. Anyway, uh, just uh, this lake wasn't here at the time. That's uh, created by a, a dam that was created by the uh, power company to generate power for the valley and this area. All right, I'm going to be holding the camera, and uh, the only reason I'm going to do that is because I can't show you what I got to do any other way. Now, I know it's going to be dark down here, but. Uh, between the legs, there's a big undercut. Let me see if I can get my fingers back there. It goes way back, almost uh, a half inch or, or more. I've got to bring that even so that they can bring a mold straight out instead of having to try it, pry, trying to pry it out. Same with the uh, buffalo robe and the end of the uh, gun case. I've got to fill all that in so that, uh, again, they can pull it straight out. Um, I've got holes to fill, like this one in here, and there between the uh, shoulder of her and his chest. That's got to be uh, filled in. And around the baby's face, I've got to somehow fill that in a little bit more. It's not undoable, it's just, you know, it takes time. And it's not going to reduce the price because they already figured the price on me doing all that in the first place so anyway i'm pooped it's been a long day all right till next time good night everybody give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time